Right, a demonstration for you. Leather. Now, the 20 odd years I've been uh, valeting vehicles and detailing them, I've always had issues with, with leather. It's tough to find a chemical which is strong enough to do the job, but not too strong to hurt, hurt the seat um, or leather. Now, this BMW, as um, a lot of you might know, um, it's six weeks old, this BMW, and the seat's already got discoloration from jeans and clothes and dirt and so on. Um, so, um, I'm going to use this which is Malco's leather and plastic cleaner. Now, as you can see, I've, I've used a fair bit of it already, um, testing. I've used it on lorries, which are seven years old, and door cars that are filthy, and it, it's performed exceedingly well. Now, the dilution ratio, Malco don't even put it in their bottle, which is very useful, um, is about one, one to ten, one to fifteen units, which I dilute it to. Um, light dusting. Onto the sea. Don't leave it on too long. Well, I personally don't because you always get those chemical run marks or can do uh, where you've um, sprayed on and it's cut through the dirt and sometimes it's really difficult to get off. So you've seen how long I've sprayed it on there for. Um, just a, a, a damp microfiber cloth like so. Then wipe off. There you go. Swapless. Very easy. Not harsh, and very economical. Once I've uh, I've done a, a vehicle that's maybe old or or had to put a lot of chemical on, then then I will use a conditioner afterwards, and I use this one as well, which is a really good product. Smells lovely, very easy to go on. You can control sheen levels if you want to on it as well. You can put it on and leave it to leave a shine. You can buff off afterwards. Um, but that is how the Malco leather and plastic cleaner works. Now. Now I found that this actually works better on plastics than multi-purpose cleaners. So um, that can be a very, very good buy for people wanting to do your plastic and leather.